Originally, we did set up my tent up there, but uh, the mosquitoes are crazy right now. Uh, it is like a million times better over here. So, opted to bring my tent here. They have hammocks, so they're limited to whatever trees are around them, which sucks, but oh well. So, we're gonna start getting dinner ready soon. Dinner time. I have zero fishing experience. There's mosquitoes out here. Yeah, there's a lot of mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah. Look at this kit. I couldn't name one item in this. I'm so hungry, but it's all good. Worst case, we starve. <laughs> we'll be fine though. We got Bully with us, also fishing. He's probably better than me. Okay, no, not probably. He definitely is better than me. Okay, look at this. This fish right here. It's probably worth more than a real fish. So, hopefully this fish will bring us a fish. We're gonna fish now, so bye. I was just informed that we have a cheat code. A fish finder. Sonars scan underneath our boat, the area around it, and then show you the little size of the fish. Apparently there was a massive fish, Kareem just said. About 40, would you say 40 feet down? 40 feet, yeah. 40 feet down. So. This water is like 62 feet. 62 feet, okay. I'm pretty sure it tells you the temperature. 23.3. Is it really? Oh, wow, that's dope. That's warm. Yeah, that is really warm, honestly. That's why they're so low. Because it's much colder down there. But yeah. Oh my gosh, Cream, you almost took my head off. Okay. I'm going to zoom in because I don't want to step over here, but there's a family of fish right there. You can see. Kareem is going to catch one. I can feel it. There's one 10 feet down too. There's a lot of fish in this area. Kareem has informed me that this is the lure. So. This is the one. All right, let's hold him accountable. I think they're coming for the bait. They just don't. Oh, look at the size of that guy, bro. Oh, what the are those? Bugs. Here comes the bugs. Here comes the bugs. Cool, eh? Like, it's so top heavy. It was like that, uh, it's yeah, it's the perfect mallet for like breaking mm -hmm. anything, hammering stuff in, yeah, chopping and splitting wood, splitting wood, exactly. Yeah, all well, you need is a couple wedges. Did he, did he show you that wedge thing? I mean, yeah, I even want my knife, it's a good one to just, you know, yep. I waited till it came before I returned it. <laughs> really? I swear. Ah! No! The moth just did a oh, f***ing... So like a... I don't know, like a course in my ear. It couldn't get out. <laughs> Always wanted to like whittle shit. Like whittle some sick shit. Yeah. You know? Ah! You good? No, 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 no. You're good, you're good, brother. Don't let them win. You're good, you're good. No, it's literally in my ear. Yeah, it can't get out. Just stick your pinky in. Just kill it in there. It's literally stuck in my ear. Water. Put some put some water in it. Yeah, that's then, not a bad idea. Then you got water in there though. That's the only other problem, but better than that. But I remember one time I was sleeping and I woke up to this sound like. 
No. I went, your bro, I was literally no. nuts in the middle of the night, bro. No, 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 I went no, 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 nuts. I didn't know what it was. I was like, what the f Yo, where's water? Bro, when I go to foreign countries and sleep at Airbnbs, I sleep at earplugs in. I can't. I can't do earplugs, ah. man. They drive me insane. Uh, I have to. Oh, my buddy from Trinidad was telling me the cockroaches in Trinidad will land on your face yeah. and they will eat the saliva that builds up in the corner of your mouth while you sleep. Wow. I was like, that is the most disturbing thing. That's mad disturbing. Ugh. And they're like, they're big. Yeah. They're that's not what I'm like, saying. No I'm not. Little half inch cockroach like you got in North America. Like, they're some beasts. Yeah, I'm not into that. Bro, I actually can't get the moth out. What do I do? It's a moth? Yeah. Oh. Was it in there? In there? Yeah, yeah. It's like I can hear it <laughs> trying to fly. There's no way it's in your ear. No way. I swear. Give me your headline. Just Give me your headline. Let me see if it's, I can see it. <laughs> oh, that's so f***ed up. There's no way. <laughs> what do you hear, bro? You're definitely just thinking it's still in there. Don't worry about hurting me. Just like pull it out as open as you can. You guys see it? No. Ah. I don't see it. I there. hear it flying around. But how is that possible though? You gotta fill your ear right up with water. I need more water then. Yeah, you have to fill it right up so like you get that sensation you got when you're swimming. Cause if it's that, like I can't see it past that little bit there. That's up. Oh. Yeah, that is brutal. <laughs> I so, think it worked. Yeah. Oh, I just it. felt it fall out. Yeah. Glass Holy shit, man. That's some weird. <laughs> yeah. No way. I swear to God, Kareem. What in your ears? Good morning. Courtesy of Caesar, I have my espresso here. I didn't bring anything because this was very last minute trip, so I'm drinking this out of this pot right here. Very excited though. Last time was amazing. Put the agave in? Yeah. Oh, you, you didn't put it in? That's a must. Yeah, I'll be quite strong right now. <laughs> Alright, Silky. Don't let me down. Okay. Ooh. Adds a little flavor to it. A little oat garnish for your oat bag. Yeah. yeah. Just throwing some agave in this. What's up? It's like uh, better than maple syrup. You want to try some?
Wait, what'd you say? Say that again. We're gonna start with a backflip. Okay. Thank you for rescuing me. We just been on the boat fishing, looking for a new site. Uh, we're gonna swap sites today. Nick's heading out. So this island's not it though. Even though it looks beautiful, a lot of tall grass, swampy water over there. Don't want to get destroyed by bugs. So the search continues. So that's why you gotta go slow. Yeah, you gotta get ready to go slow. Cause you never know. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Italian. So you're from Oxidigi? Lip bomb. Yeah, you don't want to put this on your lip. Look at this.
this one. I think that mark is just on my t-shirt. Look at that. How's the wood? Is it dry? Yep. Nice, eh? Yeah. Super easy. Mosquitoes are really bad. So Nixa, I'm bringing out the citronella bracelet you gave me. I hope it works. Thanks. All right. Holy mother of bugs. Holy. Anyways, looking away from that. So we've landed on Mumu Island. Right now we're just exploring, seeing what's good. Still haven't caught a fish. So Kareem is gonna definitely catch one soon. Yeah, that's the perfect spot. And I gotta make sure I'm not pointing this at the camera like I normally do. All right, there we go. So let me just turn this off. Yeah, so. This is really close to our campsite, Mumu Island. I'd love to camp out here, but I want to ditch the squad. That's not a nice thing to do. And we got um, my lights not going to point long. No, definitely not. But I'll show with my pinky or finger. That's my tent right there. Okay. Yeah, right there. That's my tent. It's a campsite in that area. So you can see this island's really close. I'm gonna turn the light on for two seconds just so you can see what's happening over here. All I hear is bzzz, and I'm turning that light off. This is not pleasant. Anyways. Yeah, the mosquitoes are, here, let me see if I can do it like this. I can see it, so. Okay, you know what? They're all over my hand. I gotta stop. I gotta turn the camera off. I'm dying. I'm dying from mosquitoes. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh. 
Oh, you little buddy struggling to get up the rock, huh? Hello, dear. All right, so right now we have a family of fish. It's called a fish highway. Kareem is about to catch every single one of these. So far, we have we have had no luck, but it's because Nick was here. So now that he's gone, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I got all the luck. But look at all these fish. That's crazy. This looks like Pac-Man, but with fish. It does. So no luck fishing for tonight. We're gonna hit it early in the morning. According to Kareem, 5 a.m. So probably 9 a.m. And um, we're not leaving French River until we catch a fish. Um, I'll literally slash Kareem's tires. Whatever I have to do, we are not leaving until we get a fish. Um, I think that's gonna be it for us for tonight. We're gonna hang out by the fire. As you see, Bully's getting nice and cozy there. Good night. So, Kareem and Caesar have went to sleep. How oh, this light is blinding me. Um, I really, ouch, really want to catch a fish. So they claim to wake up at 5 a.m. I call bull. So what I want to do is, I want to catch a fish, and hopefully in the morning when they wake up, I have a nice fish caught. Now keep in mind. I'm the worst fisherman ever. This is literally my second time ever fishing. I only have this one lure. I don't want to bother trying to change them because Kareem is sleeping and he's the expert and it's his stuff and I don't want to touch it. So I'm just going to do my best with this one lure and wish me luck. I really hope I catch a fish. That'd be amazing. <laughs> they will be in disbelief. I actually don't think I can even untangle this anymore. Give me a go. Please work. Yes. Oh, such a good feeling. Let me turn do this. It's a bug mode. Oh. F What's happening now? I can't reel. Oh, I can reel. Okay, good. I actually don't get it. Let's try it again.
Oh, I feel something. Oh, I'm feeling so many bites. Yeah, I'm feeling stuff I didn't feel earlier. Good morning. Uh, we just packed up everything and we're gonna go put our stuff back in our cars and then we're gonna go uh, do some more fishing because we still didn't catch that fish. Big baby. All right, that wraps up episode eight, French River. Um, this trip was literally last minute planned. Yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a great time and I'll see you next time.